Hey guys, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, video number 61. In the last video, we finally finished uh, Routes 1, 32, 3, and 4. So now, um... Yeah, we're just gonna head down uh, over to uh, Victory Road. It's gonna be good stuff. Victory Road. Woohoo! <coughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm getting a lot of, like, noise off this microphone. Oh, and um, another thing I want to say, I know that there's always a little bit like of static with the game noise, but for whatever reason, it seemed like with this particular video, there was a lot more, so I want to go ahead and apologize for that ahead of time. You can especially hear it during like the quiet moments when the like music stops or music gets quiet. So yeah, I want to go ahead and apologize for that ahead of time. Um, yeah, at this point, we're just kind of making our way over to Victory Road. I was trying to figure out what's the quickest way to get there. And, um... You know, I was trying to fly over to Route 128, but it wouldn't let me fly there. So I flew over here to the Secret Shore, which is just off Route 129. So, <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to get there pretty quickly from here. But, you know, first gotta stop at my secret base and have Monka uh, train up my... Uh, Wednesday, camera up. <clears throat> anyway, so while we're making it over to Victory Road, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go over the last video. Um, I uploaded this video like last night, and it's like kind of early in the morning as I'm doing this one, so I realized that maybe not everyone got a chance to uh, ask me a question, but. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over them anyway. Um, if you ask me a question in the in the last video, I'll I'll answer you in the comments. But uh, again, I didn't have a question of the day, so I said, "Hey, just ask me a question. I'll answer in the next video." Uh, Zakiki Marcus uh, asked me. I noticed the video seems to be sped up every now and again. Is this post commentated? Uh, yes, the video is sped up. I it's actually something I just started doing like I don't know three or four videos ago. Uh, speeding up the battles just to make the videos a little bit shorter and yes it is post commentated I play the video I I edit it I kind of well I used to just kind of trim the edges but you know now I, I go through and I speed up the individual battles but uh yep, I play the video I edit it and then I watch the video while I um, do commentary so, yeah, that's that's pretty much how, how I do my videos. Well, that's not pretty much. That is how I do my videos. I've thought about doing um, live commentary, but it's, um, it, it's a little tricky, especially with the 3DS, because I use, I have to plug in, I've yet to figure out a way to record both my voice and the 3DS sound the game sound because I have to plug in the uh, I have like a like a aux cable that I plug in from the 3ds headphone jack into my computer's microphone jack and I got a splitter and I I tried you know using the splitter you know plugging my microphone into one end of the splitter and plugging the 3ds into the other but for some reason still it would only pick up one of them. Like, I think it only picked up my voice. So, I mean, I could do live commentary, but then we wouldn't have game sound, which, you know, I like the game sound. So. I'll, I'm gonna see what I can do. I think I need a specific kind of splitter. Um, the splitter that I have is for headphones, like, you know, to plug into a headphone jack and then you can plug two different headphones. So, I'm thinking I might need a different kind of splitter, like, specifically for microphones. So, um... I mean, I'm not going to find one before this game is done, but maybe by the time I do my next 3DS game, I'll have one. But then, I won't be able to speed up the videos. I mean, I guess I will, but it'll just sound really bad, because I'll be, like, talking, and then all of a sudden I'll be cut off. And I'm not the kind to, like, pay enough attention or, like, <laughs> you know stop talking right before a battle starts so I'll just keep on rambling 
<clears throat> but I might, I might try live commentary one of these days. I've done live commentary on a couple of my, uh, like, event videos, but, you know, they're, they're just, like, short little five to six minute videos that don't require much, if any, editing, so. Anyway, here we are in Victory Road. This is a goal bat right here, so I don't, I don't need to, to, uh, mess with that. You might have noticed it was dark outside. I actually played this late last night with the intention of editing it last night and then doing the commentary this morning, but uh, unfortunately, I uh, didn't get the editing done until this morning either. By the time I was done, I was, it was like late and I was sleepy. So, <laughs> yeah. I checked Bulbapedia, and, oh, here's uh, Ace Trainer Albert and the Sped Up Battle. Uh, I've, I've kind of been giving updates in, uh, for Pokemon Shuffle. Uh, Pokemon Shuffle has received a patch that, that, this was actually yesterday, I should have talked about this yesterday, I don't know why I didn't. Um, Pokemon Shuffle has received a patch that brings the game up to version 1.1.7. And this patch adds the special stage, Great Challenge. And uh, it says it's a title to Rayquaza's Ascension in the notice, uh, which allows players to catch Rayquaza. Uh, the special stage will be available from March 30th to April 20th, 2015. The first time the player completes the stage, they will receive one jewel. Rayquaza has the... Rayquaza? I still don't know how to say his name right. Has the skill... Dragon Talon, or the skill Dragon Talon, and starts with 70 attack power. Uh, Rayquaza has an empty slot for Omega Stone, despite Mega evolving without Omega Stone in the games. Well, that's interesting that he can evolve without Omega Stone. Do 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 do. I was just running back here to see if there was uh, like a hidden item because I didn't turn on my dousing machine until I just got here. Max Repel. Oh, that's right. I was trying to sneak up on whatever this was, but I forgot you can't do that when you're wearing the dousing machine. My bad. Here's another trainer. I think we're going to uh, try and turn on the EXP share. By the way, uh, you can probably tell by the title, but this is Victory Road Part 1. Um, don't worry. There's only two parts to Victory Road, so that's not bad. This Victory Road, I was uh, kind of surprised at how straightforward this particular Victory Road was. I mean, there's a, a path to follow. It's not like, oh, I wonder what happens if I go this way, or what happens if I go that way. Th this Victory Road is, is very straightforward. Um, very easy to get through, very easy to navigate. Um, anytime there is like a choice, like, oh, you can go this way or that way, um, you know, the wrong way is, is usually like a dead end, where there's like, either like a trainer, or like some awesome item at the end, so. And the right way is always marked by those torches, which I believe was the same way in, uh, X and Y, so. That's good, too. Um, down here it's pretty dark. Um, you know, if you want to light it up, you can... You can use flash. Now, I know it looks really dark on the screen right now, but when I was actually playing this, it it did not look this dark. It it was a lot lighter than this um, and while I was actually playing it. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry this is so, so dark, but... <coughs> it... it 
if you're if you actually you know have played this, you know that it it's not really that dark. And I don't want to teach someone Flash just for this cave. I've pretty much got to overhaul Waylord's move set because every attack that Waylord has is an HM. He's got Surf, Dive, Waterfall, and Rock Smash. He's like my HM slave. I know Victory Road is one of those places that like a lot of people who play these games tend to not like, you know, like just because, oh, you know, it's really involved or it's difficult, I don't like it, you know, whatever, whatever. <coughs> so I want to ask you guys, I'm going to ask you the opposite. I think I've asked which is the worst Victory Road. For me, it's the Sinnoh Victory Road. Um, but I want to ask you guys, for you... Which is the best victory road? And I think it might actually be this one. And the reason I say this one in particular is because when you look at it, just like when you first enter, you see all these little bridges and different pathways, you're like, oh my god. But then you realize that, oh hey, guess what? It's not really that tough. So. I would have to say this one for me is the easiest, or maybe my favorite because just looking at it, 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 it has an interesting look to it, but uh, it's not that difficult to navigate. But what about you guys? Answer in the comments, and I'll go over your answers in the next video, which I will upload tomorrow. We're going to wrap up Victory Road this week, and then next week we'll uh, take on the Elite Four. It's going to be good stuff. We should finish the main game uh, portion of this next week. That was fun. If I'm talking a little bit like softer or not as loud today, it's because I, I woke up with like a sore throat. And I don't know why that is, but I don't know, maybe I slept with my mouth open or something, but yeah, I have a I have a kind of a sore throat. And you know sometimes I'll have that and like, you know, after I've been up for a little bit it'll go away, but not today. It's still it's still kinda lingering, so Oh, this guy snuck up on me. <coughs> Street Thug Reagan sent out Houndoom. Alright, Reagan. Well, Houndoom has a type advantage, so I am going to make Evolve Ruby just to give Ruby maybe a, a power advantage, you know. Dragon Breath. Okay, two Dragon Breaths should do it. Houndoom uses Embargo, which keeps Ruby from using items. Dragon Breath does the trick. Awesome. Shift Tree is next. I had a Shift Tree in my last Let's Play. Expert Emerald. Good old Nroka. Hey, good job, Ruby.
So we saw the little torches down there, which tells me that that is the way that I need to go. So I'm going to go this way first. And we're back down here in the dark again. Now believe it or not, like when I was walking backwards, I was actually able to see where I was going. I wish that it wouldn't be this dark. On uh on the video. But that was all there was to this place, just coming down here to get an item. I don't know why he has to hop every time he puts on the dousing machine. Do you? I don't. Okay, here we got a, a couple of a couple of ace trainers, a couple of ace trainers to battle. Let's see if I can turn on the EXP low power. <coughs> you know, these two ace trainers here. I should get some pretty good EXP from these guys. <coughs> All right, uh, Jude and Rory, ace duo, send out Armaldo and Cradilli. This should be interesting. Um, well, they're both rock types. Cradilli is also a grass type. Uh, rock slash grass. Armaldo is rock slash bug. So they're... One type is strong... Or one type is resistant to flying. The other type is weak to flying. So I'm going to see what a fly will do. Um, yeah, they just took out Ahab. Ahab's sur <coughs> Ahab's Surf was strong against Armaldo, but Cradilli uh, also has a typing that is resistant to Surf didn't do as much against him. Cradilli is burned. Uh, one more Dragon Breath should take out the Armaldo. Energy Ball takes out Wednesday. That Cradillion is Energy Balls, man. They're just, like, taking out my team. Alright, we defeated Jude and Rory, or whatever their names were. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, answer the question of the day. See you next time. Bye.